Hey everybody, John Thomas with the Home Salesforce.com team, brokered by eXp Realty. Uh, in case you missed it, Glenn Sanford was on uh, CNBC's Closing Bell talking about uh, the future of work and the work from home movement and how uh, eXp owned Verbella, um, you know, kind of could work into the mix. So here's the recording of Glenn on CNBC. So for more on this debate, Glenn Sanford, Chief Strategy Officer at Verbella, which creates remote collaboration software, and Tom Siebel, founder and CEO of C3.ai, which is also on CNBC's Disruptor uh, 50 list. Uh, Tom, uh, I'll start with you, if I may. I mean, lots of uh, companies, uh, particularly tech companies, shifting uh, to work from home in a more meaningful way, whether a permanent way or not. Uh, are you on board with that? Uh, I think for many, for many tech companies, particularly those who are doing kind of oh, relati oh. relatively trivial work, I th like selling AdWords or figuring out how to post selfies on the internet, I think that working from home will be entirely appropriate. Glenn, you just you disagree, why? Well, uh, I, I run a, a company, actually a residential real estate brokerage as my primary role uh, with over 31,000 people that all work entirely remote for the last 10 years. So uh, for us, we believe that actually working remote actually empowers the workforce uh, if you use the right tools and technologies, which is one of the reasons why I am now the chief strategy officer of Verbella, because it's actually a platform that actually facilitates the serendipitous meaningful collisions that you get in a physical office that actually allows for deep work and deep collaboration. And, and so that's one of the things that we discovered even 10 years ago was that was the necessary component. So I don't actually disagree uh, fundamentally, but if you've got the right tech stack and you, you sort of look at it a, a different way, you can actually build deep relationships, get real work done and scale uh, large organizations very quickly, even in more traditional industries. So, so uh, a bit of agreement there to start. Tom, what, what about other types of businesses, maybe not uh, the simple sort of tech businesses uh, that, that you were referring to? Do you think uh, they'll return to work in full in the office as they were six months ago? I think some will. At C3AI, we will return to work in offices. We're in the process of doing that all around the world today. But understand, we're, we're building you know, these AI systems that are at the heart of critical infrastructure around the world. Uh, safety systems for oil and gas, predictive maintenance for utility systems around the world to prevent disasters like we saw at PG&E, um, AI-based predictive maintenance system for the U.S. military, um, production optimization for healthcare systems that are making vent uh, manufacturers who are making you know ventilators, CPAP machines, healthcare monitors. Uh, monitors. If these systems goes down, or these 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 customers have problems and we can't immediately respond, people will die. So when we we get to we so we need to be there and we need to be sure that these 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 systems stay stay alive. We think of many types of you know the invention of microprocessors, the invention of new operating systems, new medical procedures, drug discovery. These are not the types of things that are tend to be done remotely. Uh, I think there are many, many types of work that can be done remotely. However, complex, non-trivial things that involve supporting critical infrastructure, uh, operating a nuclear reactor, that's not gonna be done from home. Yeah. Air traffic control, it's not gonna be done from home. So non-trivial, complex tasks, I think it's still gonna be necessary for people to get together and coordinate. For sure, and Glenn, you know, one, I, one, something I think that Tom is getting to there is the idea of culture. And, and whenever you want to come up with innovation and ideas and forward thinking, you have to have an office culture, don't you? You have to have people exchanging those ideas. And it's just not the same doing that in Zoom. So, so how do you deal with those questions working from home? Yeah, yeah well, first, first and foremost, I, I totally agree about Zoom. Uh, it's one of the things that we we don't actually use video conferencing as our collaboration technology. We actually use a more avatar-based virtual world for business type platform. That's actually what Verbella is. However, uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, a company that I founded runs entirely remote, but for the last four years in a row, uh, we've actually been listed as a, a Glassdoor top 50 or top 100 company, and, meaning that you can actually build uh, great cultures and, and, and great collaborative cultures by using 
uh, the right types of technology. And of course, you know, in terms of uh, certain work has to be done physically. I mean, manufacturing is something you can't do remote, but there's you know, tons of knowledge work that's not factory based anymore that you can actually collaborate in a meaningful way. And you may be coordinating certain physical activities, but central offices and central teams and support infrastructure to support employees and customers fundamentally doesn't normally need to be done in, in, in a physical setting unless you're operating, say, retail. Uh, but a lot of the other functions literally can be done truly mm. collaboratively from home and, and, and quite effectively. Well, it's a decision a lot of businesses are trying to figure out at this moment. Tom and Glenn, thank you for being here to discuss how you're approaching it.